Hi there, uh, I'm Josef Wotnar. Uh, nice to meet you to another uh, C++ uh, video tutorial. In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, arithmetic operators. These are uh, arithmetic operators, uh, what uh, you can see on the screen. I mean, this uh, plus uh, sign uh, is uh, arithmetic operators uh, for addition, the minus for uh, subtraction, the asterisk for uh, multiplication, the backslash for uh, division, and the percentage uh, for uh, modules. The arithmetic operators uh, are uh, binary operators. You might be wondering uh, why. Let's uh, make uh, an example to understand uh, better uh, why the arithmetic operators are uh, binary operators. <coughs> so A plus uh, B, A minus uh, B, A uh, multiply by uh, B, A uh, divide by uh, B, A uh, modules by uh, B. So, uh, as you can uh, uh, see, all uh, arithmetic operations need uh, two operands to be performed. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> A and B are operands, and those uh, signs, plus, uh, minus, asterisk, uh, back, uh, slash, percentage, are uh, arithmetic operators. So, uh, <coughs> that's why uh, the arithmetic operators uh, are uh, binary operators, because uh, they need uh, two operands to be performed. There is uh, as well a uh, unary operator, for example, this uh, li literal minus uh, 8 are a uh, unary operator uh, because uh, it needs just uh, one uh, operand, namely uh, this uh, 8 uh, digit. Also, there is uh, ternary operators. Uh, maybe, as you have uh, guessed, uh, this uh, ternary operator uh, requires three operands. So, uh, <coughs> let's uh, go ahead and make an example. On this line, uh, I'm going to declare uh, two in a integer uh, variable, namely a and b, and uh, I'm going to assign uh, to those uh, 20 values for uh, a and uh, 10 uh, and 2 uh, values uh, for uh, b. On another uh, line, I'm going to declare uh, this uh, double uh, result uh, variable, and uh, on the other line, this uh, double uh, d uh, variable assigned with uh, the value to uh, 50. <coughs> so this uh, variable result uh, is going uh, to store uh, real numbers because uh, its data type is double. Additionally, this uh, result uh, variable is going to store uh, the result uh, of all uh, arithmetic operations, uh, what uh, I'm going to do in this uh, example. So uh, let's do the arithmetic operations. Uh, here the addition operations, a uh, plus uh, b. And uh, on this line, uh, let's uh, display in uh, console the result uh, of addition uh, operation. Yeah, result equal, and here the result uh, variable and the line. Okay, uh, let's copy and paste a few times. I think uh, that will be enough. And uh, here uh, is going to be the multiplication operation. A multiply by B, or uh, sorry, I think it's better uh, we do here the subtraction. A uh, minus uh, B, uh, here uh, A uh, multiply by uh, B, and uh, here A uh, divided uh, by uh, uh, B, and uh, here another uh, division operation, but I'm going to change uh, this uh, A uh, with uh, D, and uh, it's going to be a D uh, multiplied uh, by B. Okay, and uh, on this uh, line, I'm going to change uh, the value for uh, A variable with uh, 12,345, and uh, for uh, B variable uh, with uh, 10. 
and uh, on this line the result variable is gonna to store uh, the modules operation result so a modules uh, by b okay uh, and uh, to another line c out is gonna to display in the console the result of uh, modules uh, operation result equal result and line <coughs> okay uh, let's uh, compile uh, up the Let's compile this application. Let's uh, release these applications uh, in console. And here we go. There are the results of uh, arithmetic operations. And uh, I'm going to focus on uh, this line, uh, 21st, 21. As you can see, uh, <coughs> the result uh, is uh, integer number 10. And uh, on this line, 23rd, the uh, result uh, of uh, division operation is a real number 1.25 uh, uh, that is uh, because uh, on this line 12 uh, I declared this uh, result uh, variable uh, with uh, double data type so this uh, result variable can store real number that's why uh, we have uh, this uh, result uh, 1.25 so a real number uh, so uh, let's see uh, what is going to happen if uh, I change uh, this uh, double uh, with uh, in the integer uh, data type, let's compile this uh, code again and uh, let's uh, release uh, the application in uh, console. As you can see on uh, this uh, line, uh, I got uh, in uh, console this uh, result, result uh, equal uh, one. And uh, <coughs> uh, if uh, I do again the division between uh, a and B uh, between uh, sorry between D and uh, B with a calculator so D is uh, uh, 250 is 250 divided uh, by uh, B which is 2 the result is 1.25 and uh, in console we got uh, just uh, one so uh, just uh, this uh, digit uh, before the uh, decimal point uh, what happened uh, so uh, because uh, I changed the um, data type uh, for the uh, result variable from uh, double to unit uh, this uh, result uh, variable can't uh, store any more uh, real number it, it can store just a uh, uh, whole number and uh, that's why this variable result uh, is gonna to throw away all the digits uh, after a decimal point and uh, it's gonna to uh, store just the whole uh, digits the whole uh, number before uh, the decimal point so uh, that uh, happened uh, when uh, I change uh, the uh, double uh, data type uh, to in it, uh, integer data type uh, for the uh, result uh, variable. So uh, keep in your mind uh, uh, if you if you if you have a division operation or uh, you're gonna to do a division uh, operation in your application, the integer uh, data type uh, variable uh, can store just whole numbers. Uh, and uh, if the result of operation will be a real number, uh, the integer data type variable is gonna to throw away all digits after decimal point so, okay uh, let's go uh, ahead um, as you can see on uh, this uh, 27 line uh, the application uh, is performing uh, the module operation uh, this uh, module uh, operation is gonna to return the remainder of uh, division between uh, A and B, in my case between uh, 12,345 and uh, 10. So the result uh, of uh, module operation uh, performed on uh, this line 27 is 5, as you can see in console. And uh, this uh, digit 5 uh, actually is the last uh, number, is the last digit of this number 12,345. So uh, and uh, this uh, digit 5 is the remainder of uh, division between uh, A and B. And uh, on the other 
hand uh, this uh, module uh, operation is a very good uh, method to get the last uh, or the most uh, right uh, number or digit of a certain uh, number as you can see in our example the five is the rightmost uh, digit uh, of uh, this uh, number 12340 Five. So uh, that's all uh, for now. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video tutorial. See you next time. Bye.